Oh my goodness me, year three, what a fabulous weekend we have had. Doesn't it make such a difference when the sun has been shining? I don't know about you, but um, in our house, the windows have been open. We've had little pledgers playing outside. We can hear the lawn mowers yesterday everywhere. Everyone was trying to mow their lawn. Doesn't it make a difference when the sun is shining? And hopefully it means that good things are ahead. How are you, year three? Um, this is your daily greeting with all the things that are coming up today. And also I've got a few things that are coming up in the week as well. Um, obviously we've got spellings today and we're going to continue with our homophones. Um, we're looking at homophones and near homophones this week. So that's words such as B and B as in buzzy B. Okay, they obviously are homophones, but near homophones are words like quite and quiet. Okay, they might be words that trick us up when we are doing our writing. So that is what you're going to do today. There is a presentation for you to watch a little video. And in the video, there is a game to play where you are picking out the correct words to put in the sentence. And when we're doing homophones, it's really difficult to do that if we haven't got a sentence to put those words in. So we will always practice with a sentence so we know which words go correctly. In literacy, we are going to start looking at a new little topic this week and our work is going to be based on Little Red Riding Hood. And today in your literacy lesson, there is a video for you to watch in a video. So there's my video, but then there's also a video that we're going to watch together in that video. And again, we are going to be thinking about all those different things that make our work more interesting. So today we're looking at adding adjectives and other descriptive things to make that our reader know what we are talking about. Because you know me, I talk all the time about having that picture in your mind about what something looks like. And if you're the writer, you want somebody to imagine just what you're imagining. And the only way we can do that is with our writing. Your maths today, again, we're starting a new topic and we're going to start with multiplication and division. Now, you've done this once already in year three. So today is a recap session. It's a remembering session just to refresh our memory and just to remind us of all the different things that we've already learned about multiplication and division. And that is the work that we want you to send in today. We want to see your maths work. Just remember with the maths, though, if you were in a maths lesson in school, not everybody would get to do the secure it and the deepen it. OK, so just go on what you think. If you think you've worked so hard and you've got to the secure it and you think, do you know what? That's as much as I can do today. That is absolutely brilliant because in lessons, not everybody would get to do the secure it and the deepen it because it would take different people different lengths of time. OK, same with the literacy. We don't want you spending two or three hours on these literacy lessons. All right. We will be doing um, short little bursts throughout our lesson. So if you've done four, five, six sentences, OK, if you would normally do that in a lesson, that is OK. We don't want you writing reams and reams of, of work before you send it in to us. But as I said today, we want to see your math. In science, we are doing um, carrying on with skeletons. Last week, you looked a little bit about nutrition. This week in the video, you are looking at different types of skeletons and there are three different categories. And then you've got some sorting activities to do afterwards to categorize different types of skeletons. There is also an added little video for you to watch. And it's all about how a crab sheds its skeleton. OK, and that's a really interesting video to watch. So I've put that as a separate little video on today's work. So that's what you've got to do today. Um, one thing I do want to mention is TT Rockstars. OK, we are doing multiplication and division and we'll be doing that for the next couple of weeks. If you don't know your times tables or if you do know your times tables, this work is going to be so much easier. OK. Get on TT Rockstars and really, really practice your recall this week. Every morning from tomorrow morning, I am going to mention the children out of year three who are working really hard on TT Rockstars. OK, so to get your name mentioned, 
um, you need to be really practicing on your TT Rockstars. So let's see how many children we can get on TT Rockstars this week, really practicing their times tables because it will make so much difference to your um, maths lessons. The other thing is it is World Book Day on Thursday. Now I know Mr. Kellum has already mentioned that we are going to dress up on Thursday if you want to. There will be some um, little activities that we can have a go at as well for World Book Day. However, every day this week, I'm going to give you a bit of a hangman, okay? And you are going to see if you can identify this title of a book, okay? So here is today's um, clue, okay? It's a book, obviously. It's also a film, and I have filled in the vowels for you. So the missing letters are all um, consonants. OK, so if you're emailing in your work later, see if you can guess which book I am talking about. You can see here, look as well. OK, this is a clue for what's going to happen later in the week. I've got lots of books being prepared later in the week. So as we said, maths lesson today hopefully the sun will come out and you'll get all your work done and then you can have an afternoon in the garden or outside getting some fresh air because believe me it makes so much difference to our mental health as well as our physical health have a fabulous day year three